Hello and welcome to the Confucius Challenge finale. I'm your host, Elena Pinto. Today, our final four contestants will battle it out in our cooking challenge to win the grand prize, an Apple iPad, and be crowned the Confucius Challenge champions. Welcome back. The Confucius Challenge is sponsored by the Confucius Institute and ZTV. The University of Akron's Confucius Institute is part of an international network supported by the Chinese Ministry of Education, which is dedicated to enhancing the understanding of Chinese language and culture around the world by providing scholarship for study in China as well as cultural immersion programs in China. The Confucius Institute is a cooperative project of the University of Akron, the National Office of Teaching Chinese as a Foreign Language, Chinese Ministry of Education in Henan University, and Kaifeng, China. ZTV is an Emmy Award-winning student-run television station and is partnered with WZIP-FM. Next, our final two teams will battle it out in the cooking challenge, so stick around. I look up to a lot of the older heads, you know, the, the innovators, the heads of the art movements of the past. They kept it really edgy and like a lot of the Latin American muralists and Latin American artists and um, their styles were very unique and new to their time. You know, somewhat controversial, but that's who I look up to mainly. Personally, I'm very excited about going to college. It's something new and it's something different than what I'm used to. I'm definitely gonna be a little out of my element, but um, that's what makes it so exciting is that, you know, it's something fresh. Well, there's so many opportunities that I think I could miss out on if I didn't go, you know? Getting into college takes planning and vision. You know, it's just like when I take a brick wall and turn it into a canvas for my art. Paintings help me realize that I've got what it takes. What is the energy of innovation? It's a new way of looking at our world, of asking questions, seeking answers, and finding solutions. Like a contact lens for diabetics that changes colors with blood sugar levels, or a revolutionary nanofiber bandage that helps wounds heal faster. At the University of Akron, our students and faculty are improving lives here at home and around the world. Experience the energy. Join us at the University of Akron. Welcome back to the Confucius Challenge. I'm your host, Elena Pinto. For our final challenge, our remaining two teams will watch an instructional video of Chef Andy cooking chicken kung pao. They will then try to recreate the dish themselves. The team that most accurately recreates the dish will win the Confucius Challenge. Let's play that video. Hi, I'm Chef Andy Mikuszewski. Today, I'm here to demonstrate chicken kung pao that you're gonna be preparing for the Confucius Challenge. You wanna make sure that you start off with a hot pan, not smoking hot, but hot. So what I have here is I have a little bit of peanut oil in the pan. As you can see, it's starting to move around a little bit and there's a slight little smoke coming out of there. So the first thing for chicken kung, kung pao, in most chicken dishes in stir fry, what we're gonna do is actually cook the chicken. So we're gonna put that in first. And you can hear that nice little sizzle. I'm going to go ahead and take this and put it on the side of the pan. We're going to add a tad bit more oil, and this is peanut oil. Now one of the things in, in stir fry in general, there's always aromatics, and the three things in there are obviously green onion, garlic, and ginger. We're going to put our vegetables in there. Nice colorful. Almost ready. What we're gonna do now is, this is the sauce that I made up and there's a little cornstarch, soy sauce, rice wine, and a little bit of water. We wanna put in there just enough to coat.
The sauce is very intense. You can hear that sizzle, right? Now we can put the chicken back in there. About close here. We're going to put some roasted peanuts. And that's about it. So we're going to turn the flame off. I tell you to turn it off because when the flame is up, you go over there, you'll burn yourself, and you don't want that. I've got a lot of uh, sheer hairs there. So we're going to put that right on top of our boiled rice, steamed rice. And there she is. That chicken compound. Good cooking and good luck, and best wishes to the winner. After seeing that video, how comfortable do you feel with cooking? Pretty comfortable. Pretty comfortable? Yeah. You feel really confident. Uh, yeah, I, I, I think his opinion is different than mine, but oh, that's okay. okay. I'll try to give some of my confidence to her. All right, we'll so work it out. Tibor's probably going to lead Team Tibor and Kaylee, right? I don't know. Okay, and how about you guys, Ryan? Which you? You're a good cook? Yeah. Okay, and how about you, Ryan? You're good. Okay, great. Now that you guys have watched the video, let's get cooking. But before that, we're going to take a quick break. Or a revolutionary nanofiber bandage that helps wounds heal faster. At the University of Akron, our students and faculty are improving lives here at home and around the world. Experience the energy. Join us at the University of Akron. Alright contestants, start your walk, let the cooking challenge begin. Alright, so we definitely first want to cook the chicken to make it, make you know, edible. Yeah. Just um, uncooked. Yeah. So, yeah. The so I'm gonna... I, I think at first it doesn't really matter too much. Mm -hmm. the, uh, looks good, looks good. Putting the chicken in. Yeah, I don't want to <laughs> eat. No, salmonella is not good. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about that. Alright. Oh my gosh. It's oh, they're slippery. Uh oh. That's how we do it. Okay, okay. Oh, good. Sorry. No? Okay, they're okay. It's gonna splatter. Nope. Okay. Yes. Completely. Ow! Don't set anything on fire. Delicious challenge. That's hot. I mean, no. could be. It looks good. Good. Keep up the good work. What are these? You're the cook? Ow. Oh, okay. All right. Garlic and sauce. I'm going to go over here. So, so, look a little oily in there. Are these already in there? Are you going to keep it this long? In half? Uh, yeah, just like that. Awesome. Okay. All right, cook away. Ready? Ready? Okay. Garlic, soy sauce, rice wine, and a little bit of water just to help it. Like Great. Good. Awesome. Oh. I don't know what you guys do with your dish. So we have uh, and then we the pink one in the sauce. What on those pink sauce? Is it going to be spicy or is it going to be sweet? The sauce basically is um, garlic, cornstarch, rice wine, water. Oh. That looks fantastic. Yeah, that was great. You guys are getting into it. What if it gets cold? It'll get hot again. You guys started your sauce yet? Team one started their sauce. I'm not going to give any tickets away, but it's good. It's good. It's looking pretty good. They have corn starch in there. Seems like you're working it, though. Okay. So that's ginger then? That might make it taste really strong. Good idea. Oh, yeah. Let's see. It
All right, let's let our contestants finish cooking and hear what our judges have to think to determine who will win the Confucius Challenge and the grand prize right after the break. You do not want to miss a thing. I look up to a lot of the older heads, you know, the, the innovators, the heads of the art movements of the past. They kept it really edgy and like a lot of the Latin American muralists and Latin American artists and um, their styles were very unique and new to their time. You know, somewhat controversial, but that's who I look up to mainly. Personally, I'm very excited about going to college. It's something new and it's something different than what I'm used to. I'm definitely going to be a little out of my element, but um, that's what makes it so exciting is that, you know, it's something fresh. Well, there's so many opportunities that I think I could miss out on if I didn't go, you know? Getting into college takes planning and vision. You know, it's just like when I take a brick wall and turn it into a canvas for my art. Paintings help me realize that I've got what it takes. Welcome back to the Confucius Challenge. Our contestants just finished up cooking and have plated their chicken kung pao. Now, let's meet our judges. Here with us today is Professor of Modern Languages, Ms. Hong Wei Ma, the President of the University of Akron, Dr. Ferenza, and Associate Vice President of Strategic Initiatives and Engagement, Ms. Holly harris Bank. All right, judges, let's dig in. Okay, so we have chopsticks, we have forks, does anybody need a fork down there or utensils? I'm just going to reach over here. There's a fork that's a charcoal. Do you use a fork? Okay. <laughs> All right. Look beautiful. Looks like these boys have little eyeballs. <laughs> Good? Yeah. What do you think? Pretty good? You like it? Yeah, I like it. I think I like it. Yeah, yeah. They like it. Where did you get it? Peanuts. Definitely, make sure you try every aspect. Uh-huh. Is it all right? Cook? Sure. What is it? Cook? Peanuts. Oh, no. Before I have to pick up. Oh, yeah. Ah. The last step. You have a very good spot for that. Oh! That's very good. He thinks he's quite the chef. We're more sure he is. So I don't need to taste that, correct? Oh, we'll cut to the that carrot. That is for the form. We'll cut to the carrot. Okay. Uh -huh. okay. I'm not sure. Oh, somebody prepared. Okay. Oh, it looks like that one's a little hard in the side. Yeah. So both, shall we switch sides? Dishes. Yes. Take, sure. your, take your chopsticks. Take my chopsticks. <laughs> All right. <laughs> let's do a switcheroo then. Yeah. All right. Okay. Well, I have to tell you, this is very good. <laughs> very good. Very good. Guys, this is going to be hard to beat. Yeah. <laughs> You're the um, Good. talent. Uh -huh. <laughs> the, uh, <scene> of <laughs> yes, I did. I told the president about it. <laughs> what do you guys like of this side? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh. I think 
there's uh, some pepper inside. Yeah, we added just a little bit for some cake. This is oh, mineral. Yeah. yeah. Chinese cuisine is uh, very spicy. So wait, wait. We don't want to add too much this because it's in here. For the flavor. Uh, Somebody already uh, ate the yeah. item. Yeah. This is very Chinese. Good job, guys. Mm -hmm. That's decoration. Yeah. That's, a oh, good. That's a good touch. <laughs> We're happy to hear that. <laughs> so I hear this side of the table has a little kick to the Chinese yes. food, and on this side has a little decorative touch. The presentation is very yeah. Chinese, very yeah. authentic. That's good. That's going to be hard to judge, isn't it? No, the, the, the rice is the same on both sides. Yeah. 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 Rice is the same. Yeah. 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 Wait till you get back. You can make the judgment <laughs> again. Yeah. That's right. All right. But she's heading to China tomorrow. All right. Well, we'll take a quick break to let our judges deliberate. But when we come back, we'll find out who will be the new owners of brand new Apple iPads, courtesy of the Confucius Institute and the Ultimate Confucius Challenge champions. Stick around. You won't want to miss this. What is the energy of innovation? It's a new way of looking at our world, of asking questions, seeking answers, and finding solutions. Like a contact lens for diabetics that changes colors with blood sugar levels, or a revolutionary nanofiber bandage that helps wounds heal faster. At the University of Akron, our students and faculty are improving lives here at home and around the world. Experience the energy. Join us at the University of Akron. Welcome back to the Confucius Challenge. The time has come to announce the winners of the Confucius Challenge and the new owners of two Apple iPads. Dr. Perenza, Ms. Holly Harris, Bain, Dr. Zhao, and Professor Hongwei Ma. Will you do the honors? Thank you. My mm -hmm. colleagues have asked me to be their spokesperson. It was a difficult uh, choice. Uh, we found exceptional qualities in both teams' dishes. Uh, there were subtleties that were expressed in the use of spices, in the decorative style. Uh, in, in short, uh, we were most impressed by both teams' uh, results. And uh, we came down really to um, almost, uh, almost the flip of, of, of a coin. We believe that uh, in the end result, uh, one of the teams uh, used the spices a little bit more subtly, a little bit more intriguingly. And so we are awarding the first prize to Team 1 and a tremendous set of accolades to both teams and to Team 2. So Kylie and Riley, congratulations. Yay, Kaylee oh. Tibor. Oh. You guys got it. Oh. How do you feel? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a little surprise. What? Really? Yeah. Thank you so much. Wow. Thank you. So, uh, uh, all of you come because there are, there are uh, awards to each of, of you. Uh, as the winners, you get an iPad. Uh, as the runners-up, you get a, a tremendous opportunity with uh, uh, zip cards with a significant value attached to, to wow. them. Thank you, each of you, for participating and for a delectable uh, result. Uh, you, you really did uh, all of us proud. Yeah, thanks for judging, everyone. Pleasure. Let me get out of the way Thank so you, you can... Uh, so on behalf of... Uh, ZTV and the Confucius Institute at the University of Akron. We present, this is team one, right? We present, <laughs> oh, made a mistake. Uh, <laughs> you with an iPad. Congratulations. Thank you so much.
I think you all did a very fantastic job. So good work. Um, how does it feel to be the champions? Feels pretty awesome. Yeah. Awesome. <laughs> right. But honestly, we do have to say our competitors were so fierce, and they did such yes. a good job. When we tasted yeah. the food, we were really impressed. Wow. So they could give us some pointers too. Yes, oh, definitely. Right. Well, on behalf of the Confucius Institute and ZTV, I'm Elena Pinto, and thank you for watching. I look up to a lot of the older heads, you know, the, the innovators, the heads of the art movements of the past. They kept it really edgy and like a lot of the Latin American muralists and Latin American artists and um, their styles were very unique and new to their time. You know, somewhat controversial, but that's who I look up to mainly. Personally, I'm very excited about going to college. It's something new and it's something different than what I'm used to. I'm definitely gonna be a little out of my element, but um, that's what makes it so exciting is that, you know, it's something fresh. Well, there's so many opportunities that I think I could miss out on if I didn't go, you know? Getting into college takes planning and vision. You know, it's just like when I take a brick wall and turn it into a canvas for my art. Paintings help me realize that I've got what it takes. This program was produced by ZTV at the University of Akron. To find out how you can make Emmy-winning media, visit the UA School of Communication online. ZTV. Make media. Make a difference.